Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design Sphericon in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So this is the actual part and if you see all around, it looks like this. Now to design this kind of part, we follow the surface technique. So watch the full video and please write a comment if you learn anything from this video. Now to start this part, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name, uncheck use default template and say ok. Now from here you select a proper part template, so I will go with this template, millimeter kilogram second and I will say ok. Now I will start this part with this revolve feature and for this I will go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums, add a datum center line first, somewhere here and then a sketch center line, somewhere here. Now draw a line just like this, mirror this line with this center line. Now the angle between these two is 90 degree, then the dimension, so from here till here this is 15 and then from here till here this is 60. Now once this is done, I will add this sketch, so for this go to ellipse center and axis ellipse, but before this first you add a line with construction mode, start from here till here, switch off the construction mode, now you go for ellipse, center and axis ellipse, select this point as a center and this point as a end point, now draw this ellipse. Go for delete segment, delete this segment and these two segment. Now mirror this segment, so select the segment and go for mirror, select this center line. Now the sketch is done, now just say ok, ok. Go for 180 degree and symmetric, ok. Similarly, one more revolve for this portion, so go to revolve, this time you go with top datum plane, normal, place a datum center line somewhere here, then a sketch center line somewhere here. Now draw the line just like this, mirror this line with this reference, then dimension this angle is 90 degree, then from here till here this is 15, then this gap from here till here this is 60. Once this is done, draw a line with construction mode, select this point till here, uncheck the construction mode and then go for ellipse. Select this point as a center and this point as a end, draw the ellipse. Delete segment, delete this segment, these two segment. Now select this segment, mirror it with this center line. Now the gap between this point and this point, this is 10 and say ok. Make it 180 degree and symmetric, say ok. Now once this is done, one more revolve feature onto the right datum plane, normal, draw a datum center line somewhere here, then go for project, project this edge, this edge, this one and this one, now just say ok. Now 
make it 180 degree, flip the direction and say ok. Similarly, one more time revolve onto the right datum plane, normal, place a datum center line, this time we place this side, again go for project, select this edge, this one, this one and this one, say ok, make it 180 degree and say ok. Now just go for quilt, select this quilt, hold the control key, select this and then go for merge, say ok. Similarly select this quilt and this and go for merge, say ok. Now select these two quilt holding the control key and then once again go for merge, see the preview. Just flip the direction, see the preview, say ok. Now add around somewhere here, this is 7.5, say ok. Now once this is done, let us create this pattern. And for this, first you go to sketch onto the top datum plane, sketch normal. Now, here you once again draw the ellipse, this time you go with axis end ellipse, select one point here, another point here. Now, the dimension so from here till this point, this is 18. Then this gap, this is 20 and this is 5, say ok. Now select this sketch, go for project, select this quilt, say ok. Similarly, one more time select this sketch, go for project and this time you select this quilt. Now I will select this project, I will go for pattern, I will go for axis pattern, switch on all the datums, select this axis, make it 10 item onto 360 degree. Now here you just select these dots to remove from the pattern, so now I have only 5 dots. Say ok. Now just select this quilt, go for trim and select this curve to trim the quilt. Now once again go for pattern, let it be reference pattern, just say ok, it is done. Select this project, go for pattern, axis pattern, select this axis, go for 10 numbers, 360 degree. Again uncheck these dots and say ok. Now select this quilt, go for trim select this curve, ok. Go for pattern, ok. Similarly, this side, so go to sketch, select the front datum plane, sketch normal. Now here draw the ellipse. dimension. So, from here till here this is 18, this is 20 
and this is 5. Say OK. Go for project, select this quilt. OK. Select the sketch. Once again go for project, select this quilt. OK. Now select this project, pattern, axis pattern, select this axis, 360 degree, 10 items. Uncheck these dots. Say OK. Select the quilt, trim, select this curve, OK. Pattern, OK. Similarly, this curve, pattern, axis pattern, select this axis, 10 items, 360 degree, uncheck these items, say OK. Select the quilt, go for trim, select this curve. OK. Pattern. OK. Then select this quilt and go for thicken. Now the thickness is 2. So make it 2. Flip the direction and say OK. So now if you create the section view, it looks like this. Now the next feature is adding this material and this material. So for this, once again I will use revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, place a datum center line somewhere here, then draw a line just like this, go for reference, select this reference. and this reference. Now the dimension, so from here till here, this is 42, trim the segment, this side and this side. Now the sketch is done, now just say OK. Make it surface and then you just make it 180 degree make it symmetric, make it 200 or make it 220. So this surface should come out little bit both the side, say ok. Now go for solidify, this direction you let it be that side and say ok. Now you go for section view, you see your material got filled. Same way one more time, revolve onto the top datum plane, normal, draw datum center line somewhere here. Now draw the line just like this. Then uh, this gap is 42, go for reference, select uh, this reference and this reference. Delete segment, delete this segment, this segment, say OK. Surface 220 degree, symmetric, say OK. Solidify. 
flip the direction and say ok. Now you go for the section view and you have material field this side and material field this side. So the part is almost done. Now the only feature left is this round R5. So go to the round, select this edge, hold the control key, select this edge, make it 5, say OK. One more time round, select this edge, hold the control key, select this edge, this one and this one. Now this should come just like this. This if I take 5 it fails so I will just take 4.99 and I will say ok and your part is done. So this was the Sphericon in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.